to do something a little bit different. We're going to use some faux suede, some felt and some HTV and we're actually going to iron them all onto a bag using some heat and bond. Now I just want to bring you to the Etsy store where I've got the SVG from and you've actually seen this SVG before. I used it in my video the other day about pressing pillows. So this Etsy shop, Crafty Canada Studio, is so lovely. There are some absolutely gorgeous designs in here and it's well worth having a look. And this is where I've got today's SVG from and I'll link to the shop below. You can see I've got the SVG here and there's lots of pieces to it. These are just kind of um, back pieces, but I don't need those. So I'm just going to ungroup it and I'm just going to remove each of these. I'm just going to go straight in and delete them. And I'm also going to delete the extra pair of eyes. And then I want to size up my whole image. So I'm just going to come up to my width and height and I'm just going to size it up. So I want to keep it all in proportion. So I'm just going to change the height to eight inches and press enter. And if you look, you can still see that we've got some groups. So I'm just going to go back in and ungroup. And sometimes you may find that you have to ungroup things a few times. You'll see that our eyes are still grouped together. So if I click on those and ungroup, and then I click again and ungroup, and I think we need to ungroup our ears. Yep, so we're just going to ungroup that. Sometimes things are grouped together in sections, and so you need to go through and ungroup everything. So the first thing I want to do is highlight all, and I want to make a duplicate, and I'll explain why in a second, but I'm just going to move that out the way. So I want to work on this piece first. Now there's no point me going in and welding things like the felt or the faux suede. I only want to weld my HTV pieces. So I want to weld my two eyes and my nose together and then the two white bits of my eyes. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and I'm just going to temporarily hide all the pieces I don't need. All I'm then going to do is just draw a box around my eyes and my nose and I'm going to click weld. I'm then just going to hide those and I'm going to come back down and bring back the whites of my eyes. And again, I'm just going to weld those together. I'm just going to come down here and click on the weld button. And then everything else. I'm cutting out as individuals, whether it be in HTV, faux suede or felt. So I can then bring everything back. And that's all that I want to do with this piece. Now this piece is actually going to be my heat and bond layer. So again, I'm just going to come in and I'm going to make sure that everything is ungrouped. So I need to go back through, make sure that my eyes are ungrouped and they should be because I'd already done that when I duplicated, but it is worth checking. And then I'm just going to remove the pieces that don't need interfacing. So if I'm using HTV, I don't need interfacing and there's no point me cutting them out. So then I'm just going to go through and I'm going to change the colour on all of these pieces so they become one colour. So they'll all cut on the same mat and that will make the most out of our heat and bond. I'm then going to go to make it and you can see I've got all my different layers including my heat and bond layer. I'm just going to move these just to make a bit more... A kind of utilization out of the heat and bond and I'm just going to check that all my other layers are how I want them I'm then going to go to continue now obviously I'm using my maker today and I will be using my rotary blade however you can still do this project using the air machines 
you'll just have to make sure depending on what materials you're using if they need stabilizing first so you may have to do the heat and bond on the material first it just depends on the material you're going to use and obviously you're going to use either a premium blade or a deep cut blade and you will want to use your purple mat as well so mat one and mat two, I'm going to be cutting out using an iron-on setting. Mats four and five will be the faux suede setting. Mat eight will be an iron-on setting. I think it will probably be glitter iron-on. Mat three will be the fusible interfacing. Now everything apart from my HTV will be cut using my rotary blade. With my HTV, I'll probably cut it using my deep cut blade just because that's what's to hand. And then the rest of my mats are all going to be cut in felt. Now, if we click felt, you'll see it comes up and it says load the fine point blade. But it actually gives us the choice to choose another blade. So I can choose my rotary blade or my fine point blade. I'm actually going to use my rotary blade today. So that's then going to change it for me in just a second. It will change it. It's just that my internet is being slightly slow today. So there you can see it's now changed it to the rotary blade. So you can have a choice with certain fabrics like felt. You can choose whether you're going to use a fine point blade. You could put your deep cut blade in or you can use the rotary blade. So we're going to go and get our mats all set up. The felt I'm using today is the Cricut felt and this is the carousel sampler packs. I love sampler packs, I've talked about it before but I absolutely love these. I have so many Cricut sampler packs. They're great, especially when you don't know what colours you're going to want to use. These are fantastic. So this is the felt one and we're going to use the different felts from in here. My faux suede is coming from the Rustic Sampler pack in faux suede and again I love this pack, there's some really gorgeous faux suede colours in here and we're going to be using two of those today. I'm going to be using some iron-on, I probably use just some plain black iron-on and also some glitter iron-on. And then I'm going to be using this stuff. Now this is a heat and bond. This is the Ultra Hold. And this is great for turning fabric or faux suede, felt, faux leather, anything like that. You can turn it into an iron-on using this heat and bond. And I use the Ultra Hold. I think it's great. suede piece here this is my first piece so I'm just going to turn it over and I've also got my heat and bond so you can see we've got our shiny side and then we've got our paper side so we're going to place the shiny side onto the back and I've already heated up my easy press to tell if it's adhered is as I say you want to leave it to cool down you do not want to peel this while it's hot so we're just going to go in with our weeding tool and you just want to very gently start peeling back and that will give you a great indication as to if it's fully adhered, which it looks like it is, so that's fantastic. Now I'm not going to peel the rest of the pieces yet because I don't need to use those yet and I don't want the sticky side exposed. So we're just going to work with this one piece first, but we can see that it's now fully adhered. So I've got a bag here and I've already placed my pressing pillow inside of it. So I'm just going to bring my bottom piece over and I'm just going 
to take away the backing paper. And rather than increasing my heat or time, I'm just going to leave it as it is and I'm just going to go in and check between each kind of press. But at most I'll only need to do two. So it'll be 315 degrees for 20 seconds the first time. And then if it needs a second one, we'll do exactly the same. So because we're using different materials today, I am going to place some heat protective sheeting over just to make sure that my easy press doesn't singe or burn my fabric. So we're just going to let that count down. So I'm just going to leave this to cool for a few minutes and give it time to create that bond and then we can decide if we need to go back in with another press. 